when I wanted to make um, this French recording, it was clear to me that I wanted to have a few uh, pillars of the, you know, the, the big violin piano repertoire. So Debussy sonata, Ravel sonata, and also Messiaen, Thème et Variation, the most wonderful piece for violin and piano, which I fell in love with from when I was a, a small child. It's fantastic. And then I wanted to have some beautiful small pieces by Faure, Ravel, Debussy, and you know, there's such wonderful songs written. And uh, of course, when I was a child, I used to play them because my first violin teacher, she uh, she would always make me uh, make me learn them, like the berceuse and oh, these miniatures, yes. Yeah? Oh, the miniatures, they're, they're fantastic. And then Richard came into the picture because for me. One of the most wonderful contemporary composers is you. Me? Yes. Oh, thank you. And that's why I then asked you to write a few miniatures as well. Actually, with Janine, it's, um, it's a double thing, because I know how she plays. I know what she can do. So when I write for her, I already have a sound in mind. I have some expectations. I wanted first of all to get to know your music. I wanted to listen to a lot of symphonic work, chamber music, just anything. And I only want to do things where I feel completely, you know, there with my heart. I need to feel this, this, this connection. In love. Yeah. And you came up with this amazing concept. And then kind of it all started to make sense. This thread, this common thing between the, the, the pieces, I thought why not putting them in a chronological order from, let's say, evening, entering the night, then sleep, then awakening. There is a specific sound world, harmonic world, and which is refined, colorful, contrasted. Well, I mean, the three pieces, of course, Richard, you just finished them, so we're actually <laughs> starting to work on them uh, uh, together now, which is also actually a really exciting process because I was immediately uh, so taken by it, so impressive, so natural, so so expressive, so colorful. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, I had the same impression with your playing, so it was like a common it goes from love at sides. first sight of love mm. at first hearing because I came to listen to you many times yeah. and uh, so I started really to compose this violin concerto with you, uh, you know, your sound, your personality, uh, from the real beginning. This is incredibly important. I think if you don't feel that connection to each other, you don't do justice to each other, you know? Mm. I wouldn't do justice to your music if I wouldn't feel that way about it. That when you have a chance to work with a living composer, it is, it, it, it's such a wonderful, intense uh, process. Once the music is composed, it doesn't belong to me anymore. It's really like a child. It has to have his own life. Performers has to make it alive every time in a different way, give it a different personality, and as a good father, you have to accept it. It's not always easy. To talk about emotion is usually not such a, an easy, easy thing, because also the beautiful thing in music, I think, is that everybody, you know, has their 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 own emotion. So the emotion for me uh, in a present rêve, um, it's of course very personal. In some ways. I mean, I find it very intimate. In, in that way, it's kind of like a, a little bit an emotional struggle, I would say. It's always so great to know the background of a piece, if, if there's a poem or, or a story, uh, to, know, uh, to know the story. But it's not like when I'm playing it that I'm um, consciously thinking exactly of those words and of that poem. It's uh, completely, it has completely become a feeling and an emotion. Well, Itamar Golan, of course, is uh, a fantastic musician, fantastic pianist, and somebody that I have um, been playing together with for, I guess, at least eight years. He is such an exciting musician. He has a lot of character. What I love also about him is that, um, you know, he has such a personality. We both, um, of course, react to each other and, and accommodate each other but we also both have very clear views of what we want to do. And this is how it should be. It should be a completely equal interaction. And with Itamar, this is how it is. And uh, it's incredibly exciting. And it's a, it's a challenge in that way also. And I need to be challenged. It's completely dialogue. Otherwise, there's no, no point.
that's why this Bossoir project is so dear to me, is that actually all those pieces and all those emotions make my perfect evening.